Praise the Lord, somebody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glory to the living God. As you're coming in, I would like you to share the live broadcast. Share it to your friends, families, and share it to all your WhatsApp groups as well. Glory to the living God. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and adoration. We thank you that you are God and without you there is no other. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Everybody who's tuning in from TikTok, please begin to share the live and just begin to tap on the screen. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Sakura Bashonda. We'll just manage the background that we currently have. Amen. Um, Father, I thank you for everybody that is tuned in this morning. Welcome to those who are on uh, Facebook as well as on YouTube. I hope that you are doing likewise. You are sharing the live broadcast as well. In Jesus' mighty name. How are you guys doing? Amen. Hallelujah. Rachel, indeed, we serve a good God. It's a bit difficult for me to read, but I'm sure my technical crew will sort out my background on TikTok so that I can be able to see your comments as well. Miss M from South Africa, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Who's on Mara Official? I see in Togozo, you are also there. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Today is Sunday morning. We're going to be very quick in terms of getting on the ball because I know some of you will still be getting to churches, physical churches. Those of you who will be joining us in our physical church at Glen Austin, um, we will be there as well. Um, Glen Austin Midrand at 11 o'clock. But if you want to tune in online, you can also do the same. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to be talking this morning about the recovery of exchanged destinies. We are praying to recover um, exchanged destinies. Amen. I think that's a bit better. I can see you guys a bit better. Weezer, good morning. God bless you. Good morning, guys. Let's make sure we are sharing Wanda from Zimbabwe. God bless you. You are lifted. Um, those of you on Facebook, I see you. Uh, you are lifted. Amen. So as I was saying, just uh, by way of introduction, my name is Pastor Fortune Lahwabe from South Africa, and I'm here. We are still going on with our 31 days of grace and favor. We are on day 14. Today, we are talking about the recovery of exchange destiny. Yesterday, we had an awesome time as well. In case you missed it, I am still to put up that video uh, for yesterday. I know that the network did dis uh, decide to do tricks on us. Uh, 40 minutes into the broadcast because I was traveling. I was doing the broadcast while traveling to Limpopo. But I'm back this morning and I thank God for those of you who have been praying for me and I'm strengthened in Jesus' name. Very quickly, let's get on to, uh, to it. We are praying to recover our exchanged destinies. I want to thank God this morning again for having brought me before you so that we can pray. I praise him. I thank the Lord for his mercies. I thank His the Lord for his kindness in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank the Lord. I say to the Lord this morning, Daddy, I love you so much. Thank you for all that you do and that all the testimonies that you can also um, that you are bringing to other people. Father, we thank you. It's only by your grace that you have added another day for us. And if it's your birthday this morning, we thank God for the grace. And I want to say a special happy Mother's Day before I forget today to every single person in South Africa or wherever in whatever country you are in and you are celebrating your um, happy Mother's Day to you as well. It is another day that the Lord has graced us with. It is another year for somebody. Um, if it is your birthday happy birthday in jesus name may your name be praised forever forever in jesus name praying to recover the exchange destinies our anchor scripture this morning is ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 5 to 7 the bible says there is an evil under the sun set um, um folly is set in great dignity while the rich sit in lowly places i have seen the servants on horses while princes walk on the grounds like servants ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 5 to 7 says there is an evil under the sun folly is set in great dignity while the rich sit 
feet in lowly places. I have seen servants on horses while princes walk on the ground like servants. The above verse, a child of God, says that there is an evil that is going on under the sun. That means that there are evils being done on the face of the earth. Me and you are sitting right now. We are praying that people who are gallivanting back and forth and they are doing evil acts and evil practices. They are looking to steal people's destinies. They don't want to work hard for themselves. They don't want to believe God for themselves. Everywhere, people have not been sleeping since midnight. They are busy trying to exchange destinies of people. So the Bible rebu- or, 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 or admonishes us and tells us that we should be careful. We should know that there are evils that are going on under the face of the earth. What are these evils we need to ask ourselves so that we are not ignorant? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the roses. God bless you. What are these evils you might ask? Um, the evil that is happening is the exchange of other people's destiny. Me and you who's listening to this message and are going to pray this morning, there are people who are trying to manipulate and they want to exchange our destinies as well. So many destinies have been exchanged. Many people are eating crumbs while they should be uh, eating full bread. They are not living the lives that God has has destined them to have. They are not living the lives they are supposed to live. Many people are living lives that are not fulfilled, okay? Only people, only a few people are living what they can say, really, this is what I want my life to be. And that is why there's an importance of spiritual warfare. What is your destiny? We have been capturing and looking at the issue of destiny and looking at things that really kill our destiny. Yesterday, we were talking about fear, the aspect of fear that really attacks our destiny. So today, as I say, we now want to look at some of the destiny killers, which which come in the form of uh, exchange destinies. Your destiny is what God created you to be right from your mother's womb. Your destiny is God's original plan before you were created, what God actually set out as the master plan for you. Your destiny is a God's placement in your life. It is exactly where God wants to place you in your life in Jesus mighty name. So that is your destiny. And we need to make sure that we preserve this destiny and we make sure we protect this destiny. And today we are going to recover anywhere they have stolen your destiny. We have to recover it. Your destiny is the original plan. And God, we ask this morning that you restore us to the original plan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny is your assignment on earth as well. Your destiny is that picture which God had in his mind before he created you. And you need to find out what that is. Hallelujah. In the Bible, in Jeremiah chapter one, verse five, he says, before I formed you in your, in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. So before you were born already, God knows already who you are. God has a specific picture. You have a specific picture and it's a picture of goodness. It's a picture of favor that God wants you to achieve. And God says, I knew you. I set you up for success. I set you up to explode into success, into glory. Before you were born, you were specially created to be become a solution to your world. You were specially created to become the solution to your family and to your community and to your business. You were not created to be a nobody. You are not a non-entity. You were not co- uh, created to just to sit on your couch and eat and sleep and watch TV, but you are somebody special. Somebody type in that comment section, I am recovering my destiny this morning. Amen. Somebody, is it Miss M who says this message is for me? Yes, we are definitely getting our destinies back. We are recovering our destiny destiny. So you were created to be a solution to the world. Before God gave you life, he already chose you and he said, you are destined for greatness. So anytime you don't see greatness happening in your life, you know that somebody is manipulating your destiny somehow. You were not born by mistake, but by the divine will of God. Anybody who succeeded, you survived that abortion. You survived a a potential miscarriage. You, You begin to see that God 
wanted you to make it in this world. God was setting you apart to make sure that you are coming to fulfill something. You were not born by mistake. Even sometimes there are people who are who are, are, are cursed by their or even biological parents. Somebody you you find somebody saying, "I wish I had aborted you." Don't be affected by those words. But you have a destiny. The fact that that parent who was maybe weak at that time or who was maybe under pressure wanting to abort you did not abort you because you had a destiny amen somebody today we are recovering destinies somebody type in the comment section i will recover my destiny hallelujah so you might feel that you are useless in the eyes of men but you are useful in the eyes of god and that is exactly how i want you to see yourself this morning in the name of jesus you are useful you are not useless in jesus mighty name you might think that you are a nobody in the eyes of men but i want to reassure you that you are somebody in the eyes of god hallelujah you might have been rejected by people around you, your community, your family, even a loved one, somebody you loved, you thought you were going to spend the rest of your uh, of your life with, and, and, and they broke your heart. They rejected you, but you have been accepted by God. People may feel that you are inadequate, you are inferior, but you have been accepted by God. Talk to me, somebody. It is not the name that people are calling you, but the one God has called you. If he called you by name and he called you successful and he called you uh, useful and he called you to be to, to, to be productive, that is who you are and that is what you stick to. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1, he says, But now says the Lord that I created thee, O Jacob, and I formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name. You are mine. You are mine. I called you by name. I have redeemed you. I bought you with a price. Talk to me. Hallelujah. You might be asking if truly God created me to be a solution. Why is my life like this? I know there's somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice this morning who is saying, I hear you, Pastor Fortune, but why is my life like this if God created me? If truly God created me to be greater? If truly God created me to be the head and not the tail? If truly God created me to be a light into this dark world? If God truly truly created me to be a lender and not a borrower. If God is created me to for all these things, then why is my life like this? Can somebody ask me in the comment section, why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? I know I'm supposed to be a ruler. I know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a king and I'm a priest. I know that I'm supposed to be above and not beneath. I know that I'm supposed to be a city set on a hill. I know that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. But why? is my life like this? Can somebody who is awake with me, who's ready to preach with me, who's ready to de make a demand on the anointing, type it in that comment section. Why is my life like this? Why am I finding it hard to eat even? Why am I finding it hard to make even groceries? Why am I finding it hard to secure an ordinary job? I have degrees more than a thermometer. I've got a master's degree. I've got a PhD, but still I cannot secure my uh, job. Type in that comment section. Let's ask the Lord this morning. Why is my life like this? If this is an error under heaven error, heaven must correct this error. This error must be corrected. Why is my life like this? Hallelujah. Why am I not able to secure an ordinary job just to even do admin? I hear you, God. Why is there no husband in my life? Why is there no wife in my life? Why am I finding it difficult to marry? Why am I finding it difficult to even pay my dowry or my lobola? Why is is somebody shaking up with me for 10 years and not marrying me? Why do I continuously fornicate and fall into sin and I keep on having children? I've got three kids. I've got five kids by different fathers. I'm still not proposed. I'm still not married. Why is my life like this? Do I have believers in the house this morning who want to ask, why is my life like this? Make sure you are tapping on that comment section because tonight we have to start making a demand on heaven and we ask our Lord, why is my life like this? Show me, Lord. Why is my life like this so that I can see a solution. I want the solution to my life so that I can be a solution to myself and I can be a solution to those who are around, around me. Hallelujah. Somebody is asking, why is my life full of struggle? Oh God, I am good to people. I'm generous to people. 
I have helped people. They have dropped me. I have taken people to school. They have dropped me. They have forgotten me. Why are my children going to bed without food? Hallelujah, somebody. If the word of God is true, why is my life contrary to what the Lord has said in his word? Hallelujah. Why is my life like this? Do I have people who are ready to ask the why? Somebody type in that comment section. Why is my life like this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the answer to our questions can potentially be found in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 28. The book of Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 28 says, Another parable put he Jesus forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven, what God has done, is likened unto a man which sowed a good seed in his field. But while men slept, somebody say, while men slept, while me, men were sleeping, while men were not watching their destinies, while men were busy frolicking with the enemy, while men were were sleeping, while men did not realize they were being stabbed by their friends in the back, while men did not apply my word, while men did not apply the wisdom of God in their life, while men did not take time to meditate upon my word, while men did not follow my instructions and pray to me so that I can be an answer to their problems and their issues, while a man slept, hallelujah, I continue, he says, while men slept in verse 25, his enemy came and sowed the tears amongst the wheat and went his way. Sometimes we are in a position where we are very happy with ourselves and we are happy we are in the moment of success and we think that everything is going cool and the enemy comes and sows tears because we are sleeping. We are thinking that, oh, now we have arrived. Now there is nothing to worry about. Now I don't need to serve God even the more. Now I don't need to pray even the more. The devil is a liar. Today we will get our solution. Somebody ask, why is my life like this? Somebody ask that question again. Why is my life like this. Verse 26 says, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. What we have been doing in this 31 days of grace and favor, we will have been definitely making sure that as we are harvesting the fruit, we are exposing the tares that God wants to deal with. We are exposing the tares that God says, use your mouth to deal with these destiny killers. Use your mouth to deal with these de destiny exchangers. Why is my life like this, God? Please help me, help me, tell me the answer. He says, so the servants of the householder came and said, sir, did you not sow good seed in the field? Because the servants are saying, by all means necessary, your generosity, your kindness to people, you're serving in the church, you're serving other people, you have helped poor people, you have been there, you have brought groceries for other people, you sowed good seeds for them. But they, the, why is it that I, am I having Harvesting such a harvest that is mixed up with tears. I am harvesting what I don't understand. I am good to this man. I have been helping this man, but this man, instead of standing up for me, instead of showing up for me, instead of showing the zeal and going to find a job, this man is fighting me in the house. Why is this man beating me up? Why is this woman nagging and disrespectful while I've been doing every single thing possible? I have been sacrificing. I am laying down my life to make sure that my children eat, but I come back to a house where I'm told I'm useless, where I'm told I'm nobody. Come on, talk to me. Why is it like this, that in my workplace, I'm experiencing so much strife? The more I do and I do better, it seems like the people still gossip about me. Why are they fighting me like this? Somebody asked in that comment section, why is my life like this? Turn it around, Jesus. Manchi says, turn it around. The Lord has definitely got to turn this around. Hallelujah. The Bible says from when the tears come from. The, the servants were asking, where did the tears come from? Because sometimes we are sleeping on the job ourselves as Christians and then the tears begin to grow and we don't see them. Talk to me, hallelujah. He said to them, an enemy has done this. Satan has done this. There is a devil that is behind this issue. There is a devil you did not wake up to fight. There is a devil that you did not rebuke on time. There is somebody that you were supposed to have divorced long ago. There is 
with somebody that you were supposed to have broken up with long ago. That person was useless in your life and you did not see that they were dead. Today, they must be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are associations you were not supposed to enter. There are partnerships that you were not supposed to enter. There are business deals that you were not supposed to enter. The Lord says that an enemy has done this and that we need to uproot. Thank you so much. God bless you. An enemy has done this. The tears have been exposed. Those people who are tears in my life, I command you to go out right now in the name of Jesus. My life has to turn around. My destiny has to be exchanged back to what the original plan of God was. Hallelujah. So in this scripture, in the book of Matthew, we see that the good seed, what the Bible is talking about, the, is the good things that God has put inside your life. Let me affirm you this morning and tell you that there are good things that God has put inside your life. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 to chapter 2, God talks about how he created everything that was good. And he says, I created everything and he saw that was good. So God does not have a vision or a blindness problem. When God finished creating heaven and earth, when God finished creating me and you, he looked at us and he says, this is good. So God did not see anything bad. So if anything bad crept in, it crept in by the enemy. The serpent came in and dis- and, 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 and turned us around into something that was evil under the sun. All right. So when God created us, he created us to be caretakers of his garden. He created us to be caretakers of this world. We were supposed to look after the garden. We were supposed to make sure that we are uprooting every single form of death. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody ask if you are not certain yet. Why is my life like this? You are not going on with this day like the same way. You must get answers. Why? The God created us to be caretakers of his creation. Um, a special assignment was given to me and you that we must be fruitful. He said, multiply, replenish the earth. The instructions was very clear. I have given you all the goodness. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Anything that you do, you must bear fruit. Hallelujah. For as long as you are connected to the vine, you are connected to the fruit-bearing vine. In the mighty name of Jesus, he says, multiply it. Anything I put in your hands must multiply replenish the earth. Talk to me, somebody. I'm talking to that person who needs to go and plan franchises of your business. You were not meant to be a local champion. You were not meant to be only expanding in your community. But the Lord says, expand internationally. I'm talking to that person who says, I know I'm a career person and I'm a corporate person, but I'm meant for another nation. I am going to the nations of the world. My visa must be approved because I'm going to expand myself in the name of Jesus. I'm going to multiply my myself in the UK. I'm going to multiply myself in Canada. I'm going to multiply myself in Africa. Listen, Africans, do not discount yourself. There are people who are who are looking to come here because they have seen that they are plugged in into this continent of ours as well. So it is not only us that are in despair. We are looking like we are, we don't ever behave like you are in despair, that you need to leave your country. No, there are people who are trying to come in here, who are coming to take the minerals in Africa. Talk to me, somebody. Why is my life like this. I will multiply. I will replenish the earth. Hallelujah. I will make sure that I leave this earth uh, the better than what I found it in the name of Jesus. When God created your life, he saw that everything was good and he said it was good and perfect. Talk to me, somebody. In God, there is no imperfection. Remember that you are created in his image and in his likeness. It is the will of God that you become fruitful. Talk to me, child of God. Fruitfulness is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Good health is the kingdom of God. Prosperity is the kingdom of God. I don't care. I will not back down from preaching this fruitfulness and multiplication of God because he's a God that wants his children to prosper. Talk to me, somebody. Prosperity is the kingdom of God. Salvation is the kingdom of God. Peace is the kingdom of God. Righteousness is the kingdom of God. Love is the kingdom of God. Joy is the kingdom of God. The Holy Ghost is the kingdom of God. Everything that comes with the Holy Ghost his advocacy, his government, his righteousness, his peace, his teachability spirit, everything comes loaded. All these things he says, I have given to you, child of God. Talk to me, hallelujah. He says in the book, in the third epistle of John, he says, brethren, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers to its fullness in the name of Jesus. I want you to enjoy your life to its fullness. 
It is not me that says this. It is the word of God that says this. Remember, remember what he said in the book of John 10, 10. He says, I came that you might have life and have it in abundance. So when you exchanged your vows at the altar and you said, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come and live inside of me and be the Lord over my life. Jesus, you are the King of Kings. From now on, order my steps. You need to understand that you made an exchange at the altar and you made an exchange for a life of abundance. He says, I did not just come to give you a mere life. I came to give you life in abundance. Talk to me, somebody. So when your life is filled with happiness, God will ensure that you are operating in the plan and purpose of God. That is the evidence that you need. When you are full of happiness and joy, you know that you are in the operations and the plans of God. Talk to me. Hallelujah. He had this in mind before he created you. You go and find the right skill. If you are not seeing the life that God ordained for you, go and find the right script. There is a manuscript that you are missing. Go and find your manuscript. Somebody ask the question again. Why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? The tears which the Bible is talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, are the tears that are the evil exchange which the enemy has done with your destiny. If you are still asking me that question, Question, why is my life like this? Today, 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 you will get the answer. There is an evil under the sun. Folly is set in great dignity. While the rich sit in lowly places, I have seen servants on horses. While princes walk on the ground like servants. Talk to me. Why is my life like this? Why has the enemy done this? Where are the tears? God exposed the tears. Exposed some I'm tears are people. People need to go out. Do not pray for prayers of keeping people which are tears in your life. You are not bearing fruit because there are certain people that God has been wanting out of your life. Ask yourself a question. Why is my life like this? I'm sorry if I'm hitting your cons this morning, but let me bring the word of God as I hear it. The Lord says you have sat in this relationship for 10 to 15 years. Keep on saying that something is going to come out that's good. Baby girl, if they have been giving you children, you have been living in sin and he has not even proposed till this day. It is not possible that if the foundation is gone, if it is not, it is not possible that you can be in a relationship with somebody for so long and both of you believe in God. You are telling me that there's been no breakthrough. Sometimes even if you don't have the dowry, you don't have the lobola. You see, I'm even closing my eyes. I don't even want to see you guys because I don't want you to even intimidate me. I am saying this to liberate some people that the person has been making you going around in circles. I am not able to marry you. I'm not able to. They are lying. So stop saying to be praying to preserve them. It's time to let go. Oh, Shakarabaya. There are people you need to let go. You can see you are fighting altars that have not even from you. It's not your, your, your father or your mother's house that are fighting you. You have been fought by altars of a person who is stuck. They are they are ten. Karaba shukudiya basanda. Don't look at it from the aspect of just even haram. <laughs> Ah, my moderator says, open your eyes. I, I want I want it to sink because somebody needed to hear this word. I don't know who it is. There is a blessing. The Bible talks about God blessing his children. The blessing comes under. Oh, Rabba, shake it, shake it. I don't want to go there. I will start a different message if I go that route. But the blessing needs a good foundation, a good ground to work on. But we, as sometimes as Christians, we keep on making as if we are not, we are not getting this thing. There is a wisdom. You know when somebody's not going to be with you forever. Somebody asks and says, Pastor, I want this person, I want my relationship to be... And when I listen in counseling, that's why sometimes I'm not quick to declare that there must be restoration in people. I want to understand where are you coming from? Where are you going? Do you people even know where you are going? Because I don't want to waste my energy praying for something that I can see that this one is a tear. It's going to waste your next five years in your life. Karabayaba. Busi, I'm telling you, 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 your life is not going anywhere. For as long as you are praying, praying and miss, you are praying for the wrong prayer point. You are praying for the wrong person. Uproot them. Let them go. If they are yours, they will come back and they will come back and honor you. It's a lie. 
You are calling yourself a child of God. You are saying you are blessed. Heaven. Children number three. Child number four. Still no marriage. Still no honor. They have not shown their faces to your parents. The devil is a liar. And so is his mother-in-law. Hey, let me come back. Let's come back to recover our destinies in the name of Jesus. Somebody asked me that question again. Why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? Hallelujah. There are forces of darkness. And these forces of darkness, they operate only in darkness. Hallelujah. Their assignment is to exchange people's destinies. They are all over our places. They are in our houses, some of them, even in the family. People jealous each other in their families. People want to kill each other in their families. Cousins, uncles, aunties, you've got nothing else better to do than to busy come and better and manipulate and try to with people's destinies. Why can't you go up and work for yourself? Why can't you also put in the effort and pray to the same God? I, if, oh, Rabbi Sheke, if I get permission, some of the things that I see on WhatsApp, I, when that person grants me the permission, I will put a picture and I will do a video and show you what the person recovered under their bed, in their home. After we prayed, we, I, I did deliverance on this lady. And this person is being bewitched by their mother. So if I get permission, because me, I keep confidentiality. But I'm telling you of things that I see that are very scary. That of parents who are very evil, who want to keep their children in bondage, who want to take their destiny. Why would you want to be better than your children? Your prayer should be, I want my children to be better than me. I want my children to progress. Shakura basunda dia basunda. You are recovering your star. Manchi, your star, wherever your star is this morning, it must come back in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray we are recovering our, our destinies. Our stolen destinies must come back. There are people who are evil. In families, they are everywhere. The forces of darkness. In family, cousins. Why can't you celebrate me when I bought my car and say, God bless you. Your car will also come. Why must you bring me down for you to arise? Don't you know that Emma, as I'm plugged in, I will also plug you in. Talk to me, somebody. They are everywhere. How am I doing for time? Oh, Jesus. I was supposed to only do 30 minutes this morning, but the Lord will help us. Let me move faster. <clears throat> If I know there's a grace, I have is to speak faster. They are in our environment. They are in our offices. I don't know why. If you want to prosper, further your studies. You are in the corporate world. Stop competing with other children. If other children find favor, Tina, we are born again. We operate by different qualifications or no qualifications. We still rise. So if you don't want to further your studies, you pray to your God, God to do miraculous things that you are also promoted one way or the other. Talk to me. Hallelujah. They are in our environment. They are in our families. They are wicked personalities. They use other people's destinies in order for them to prosper. The devil is a liar. Somebody shout in the comment section. I am recovering my destiny. I am recovering my destiny. Somebody say it in the comment section, please. I am not here to preach it for my own liking. I did not wake up so that you don't, you play with this thing. Guys, we need to pray this protocol breaking prayers. We need to make sure we possess our possessions. Somebody type it in that comment section. I will recover cover my destiny. You make sure you type it before my wig falls off. Oh. Make sure you are typing, I will recover my destiny. If my wig falls off, I move away from the screen. Akayaba. Roboshi kalabaya sonda. Hey, in one of the deliverance services, there was a sister that came to a, 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 a deliverance uh, uh, program. She looked like a zombie. Saliva was gushing out of her mouth. Hallelujah. We raised the prayer points. We started the protocol breaking prayers. Hallelujah. Any power using my virtue to prosper, die in the name of Jesus. We began to declare it. We began to declare it. Any power using your virtue, we declare it even this morning. I don't care where you are. In, if you need to vomit it out, vomit that thing out. Any power that is using your virtue to prosper, today it dies in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Listen, children of God, let me tell you a secret before I move on. And I'll tell you how that story ends. I once, <laughs> one of my friends took me to one all night meeting at one of the ministries, hallelujah, which is the ministry that focuses solely on prayer. And I was like, hey, I'm seeing these people that are busy proclaiming, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus, die. And I'm like, why are these people continuing like this? 
I just did my own. No, I did the way. And there's no way you are sleeping in that all night. Those people, when they mean all night, they don't mean 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. No, they were meaning all night that starts very early in the morning. If they say 6 to 6, it's 6 to 6. Not people who are joking. So today, I implore you, I beg you, make sure you are taking your destiny serious. I will recover my destiny. In the name of Jesus, from Zambia, Araba Shoko and Yabasonda, you will recover your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyway, during this deliverance program, during this crusade, hallelujah, the sister came around uh, to give a testimony. Um, on Wednesday, the news came, hallelujah, that the elder brother of that sister, who was a businessman, had passed away. Are you seeing what I'm saying? We did not pray for any specific family member to die. Hallelujah. We prayed that any virtue, that any power that is being used to, 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 to manipulate your virtue, your manipulate your destiny must die. Now, few days later, we now get news. The uncle has died. The elder brother rather had died, right? Who was a businessman. What happened is that after the brother started their business, hallelujah, he went to a witch doctor to find out how he could grow his business. He went to a witch doctor to, to, to get powers to prosper his business. I know you all know what I'm talking about, right? Hallelujah. He went to the witch doctor for a potion to make money. He was asked to sleep with the sister in order to become rich. He succeeded to sleep with the sister and he started getting rich. But the more he was getting rich, the more he sister was getting worse and getting sick and get the life was stuck the, the sister kept on asking why is my life like this i'm a christian most i am praying why is my life like this can you've been manipulated and after the brother died, the sister started getting better. The, st the sister started seeing life continuing, successful, prosperous. The health improved, everything. Hallelujah. Because now the sister did not know that he was. she was ignorantly giving herself to her brother, sleeping with the brother, thinking that it is normal. Hallelujah. I don't know who you are listening to the sound of my voice this morning. Maybe you've already given yourself to your brother, your father or somebody, your uncle, your auntie and your boyfriend. Some of you, your boyfriends are the ones who are using for these rituals, who are busy ex ex exchanging their destinies. Some of you is even women who are busy using men to exchange destinies. So this thing is not a gender one sided thing. People will use anything and anybody. Suddenly you are being, you are sleeping with people you are not supposed to be sleeping with. And you think you have arrived because they've made you a slave queen. They are busy becoming a blesser. They are buying you Louis Vuitton and everything else under the sun. There is an evil under the sun. Today, that evil must be found out and it must be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are that person today, those powers must die. They must let you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have been struggling. But they are using you to become rich. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, child of God, that wherever you have sold your destiny this morning, with vigor, with violence, with everything inside of you, you need to recover your destiny. Somebody type in that comment section. I will recover my destiny. I will recover my destiny. Hallelujah. Your destiny was exchanged the moment you slept. That is why sometimes, children of God, let's not be too excited and not want to wait for God to bring the right spouse that is meant for us. We are too quick to want want to spread legs. Oh, Kasha Kadia, I'm on a family program in Jesus name. Oh, don't go off and jump into bed with the wrong people because you want to expedite riches. Karabashonda. You might be linked and yoked with the wrong person. Hallelujah. You need to call upon God concerning your life and say, God, deliver me this morning. He will deliver you. In this PPP prayers, we are saying, Lord, deliver us. Hallelujah. Your greatest enemy is the power that does not want to fulfill your destiny. That is the greatest power that we are fighting this morning. Why are these powers doing this? What are these powers doing? They are exchanging your strength for your weakness. Hallelujah. They want you to be weak because they see you are strong. They know you have a strong character. They know you are hardworking, but they want you to be weak. They're exchanging your vision. They don't want you to see because they want you to be frustrated. What are these powers doing, Pastor Fortune? They are exchanging your prayerfulness life to a prayerless life. You think that you 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 you, you feel like sleeping. You don't want to pray anymore. What is the cause of that thing? Can't you see that your destiny is being manipulated? Prayer is called, you are called to an all night prayer. When you want to go sleep as if sleep starts with you, as if you are the only one who's sleeping with a mink blanket. 
Leave that mink blanket. Your future is at stake here. Your destiny is being manipulated. Somebody say, I will be delivered. Hallelujah. You think that it, it is nice to wake up at 3 a.m. and I'm already here waiting for 5 a.m. I am fighting because I want something to happen in my life. And I want the children of God to testify in, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm here standing in the, imagine I'm supposed to be, we are supposed to, the, the Bible says when two or three agree. Now, if you are not here to agree with me, who am I agreeing with? And you think your life will manipulate, uh, uh, miraculously just change like that on its own. No, wake up and come and agree here with me. We are in this together. I will be delivered. Hallelujah. These powers of darkness who are exchanging their destinies, they want to exchange your increase because they want to see you decrease. Sometimes I find it very difficult to understand why in some families, why if you know that this person, if they increase, we will increase as a family, we will never lack, but you want to see them decrease. Why? You will not benefit. If they decrease and they die, then what? Because that luck doesn't jump to you. They want to exchange your progress and they want to give you stagnancy. I will be delivered. I am being delivered. Let's change it. Let's not even make it future tense. Let's say I am being delivered. I am being delivered this morning. I am being delivered this morning. I am recovering my destiny this morning. Don't do future tense. Do present tense. I am recovering my destiny right now. My destiny is recovered. Put it in the present tense. My destiny is recovered right now. My destiny is recovered. My destiny is recovered in the name of Jesus. Some people have lost their sense of confidence because they have been exchanged for inferiority. They have an inferiority complex. They think they are small. People, you, you know, that person who is talking again with you and they're always making you feel small. They are abusive. They tell you you are nobody. Before I married you, you were nothing. And I, you, are, you are who you are because of me. They want you to make you feel inferior. You have lost your sense of self. You don't know who you are anymore. You are in a relationship that is abusive. The devil is a liar. Oh, I have recovered my destiny this morning. Every opportunity you see, it's like you feel like you are not up to the task. Can't you see that they are manipulating your destiny? Can't you see that your destiny has been stolen? What do these powers do, Pastor Fortune? They want to exchange your life with death. They want to see you dead. So you must declare it and deliver yourself this morning. I will live and not die. I will live and not die. And when I talk about death, I'm not only talking about physical death, but they want you to die spiritually. They want you to die financially. They want you to die maritally. They don't want you to see you getting married. They don't want you to see achieving in the area of academics. They want your academics to die. They want your health to die. They are busy bodies. They are coming down. Cash fire. Any power that has been manipulating my financial health, my financial, my health, uh, my, my physical health, my marital health, my academic health, my business health. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare my decree. I recover the destiny of my finances. I recover the destiny of my marriage. I recover the destiny of who I am. I recover my confidence in the mighty name of Jesus. I recover every single thing that the Lord has put inside of me. I recover every single goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout a believing amen. I have received my destiny. I have recovered my destiny. You already received it. Just recover it. Wherever it is, in the name of Jesus, you will live and not die. I declare that your finances are healthy, your health is healthy, your marriage is healthy, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will succeed in your academics, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They have been trying to exchange light with darkness. They want to take away your light. They don't want you to see your future clearly. They want to exchange it with darkness. What do these powers do, Pastor Fortune? Tell me more so that I can know why is my life like this? They are exchanging your health with sickness. Anytime you are sick and you can't even find a solution that doctors don't know, the scientists don't know, and you don't know, you've been praying. What is happening? Check your destiny. Who is manipulating your destiny? They have exchanged your financial life with financial death. Talk to me, somebody. What are these powers? Why is my life like this? Talk to me. Hallelujah. They exchange prosperity with poverty. Anytime you see poverty in your life and it's resisting and it's resisting your health of your finances, make sure you probe. Lord, deliver 
deliver me from every power of poverty, every single spirit of poverty. Let me go. Loose me and let me go right now. And my destiny of prosperity shall not be exchanged. Prosperity is my portion. Poverty is not what God gave to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not die a sudden death in the name of Jesus Christ. My wealth will not disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I recover my destiny wealth. I recover my lineage wealth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Talk to me, somebody. You will not be ignorant because these powers want to exchange your vigilance for your ignorance. They know that you are vigilant. They know that you woke up this morning and you are vigilant. They want you to be ignorant of the devil's devices. But no, 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 no. You came to protocol breaking prayers to tell him, tell the devil, no, 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 no. Today I'm recovering. I will be vigilant again. They want to exchange your wisdom for foolishness. You've been behaving foolishly. You don't know even know why. But the Lord has sent me this morning to tell you by virtue of you get making contact with this altar in the name of Jesus, exchange, leave it at the altar. Every form of foolishness. I will walk in this wisdom. I will make wisdom decisions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will no longer be lazy. I am recovering my destiny of hard work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will no longer be lazy in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be a couch potato. I will not be a nobody in the name of Jesus. I will not slack anymore. I will do everything well with excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am recovering my destiny of excellence. I will not be slack and slothful in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Somebody asked me again, why is my life like this? Maybe you just came in. You don't know. We want to recover your destiny. Ask me why your, why your life is like this. Why your life is not reflecting what God wants to see. Hallelujah. Your life needs to be fulfilled. But the enemies of progress, those who have stolen your destiny, those who exchange your destiny, have come to exchange your fulfillment because they want to see you frustrated. Let me say this as I off-ramp and, 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 and I on-ramp again. Some of you, you have been laid hands by evil men who, who who orchestrated them as selves as sheep but they were sheep uh, they were wolves in sheep's clothing do not allow anybody just to lay hands on your crown just like that when you don't know where they're from and when you don't understand the spirit that they operate in because some of you there are people who posed as men and women of god who exchanged your destinies they stole your stars by touching your crown that is why children of God sometimes don't just answer, ask God, should I go to this place? Should I be in this conference? Should I get this person to lay hands on me or not? Talk to me, somebody. Let me off ramp and come back again. Who are these people who have exchanged destinies? Am I communicating? Why is my life like this? They are exchanging your focus. You are suddenly very focused and suddenly... All of a sudden, you are distracted. People know that you are a focused person. You are focused. Even in your finances, you are a budgeting person. You are a saving person. Things are productive with you. But they exchange your focus for distraction. Hallelujah. Hey, the devil has been trying to remove your focus. Hallelujah. The devil has been using people against you. Uh, the, the, the devil has been sending them to exchange your destiny of success. You have not been successful because you lost focus. I don't know who's that for. You lost focus. The Lord says, I must tell you, you lost focus. You need to recover your destiny of focus in the name of Jesus. Karaba! Shakura by Asanda. He alaba soto korea basunda. Chosen says, even my phone fights. Uh, oh, is it your spouse? I thought your phone is. Eh, kalaba shokaria basunda. The help of God. Oh, let me see. Chosen royal. Your husband, if they are fighting you, Karabashunda, you need to go and pray and say, God, if this is the day that I need to deal with, let me deal with it. Hallelujah. Today, they must choose, are they for you or against you? In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. If you look at the opposition, you will lose your divine position. 
Did you hear what I said? If you keep on focusing too much on the opposition, you lose your divine position. You are too focused on the opposition that has been bringing you down, the opposition that has kept your life stuck, saying, I love you, baby. I'm going to marry you, baby. I'm going to marry you, baby. Tomorrow you will get the shock of your life when you hear that they've married somebody else. I'm just saying, open up your eyes. When you come with a prayer request on these altars, make sure that you have checked whether this person has not been the one who's been holding back your destiny. Many people, children of God today, have failed because they allowed themselves to be distracted. The enemy will use distraction to remove people from their right track. You are on the right track. You are on the right path. Your vision will empower you to overcome the opposition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare it and I decree it by the action that is upon my life, by the anointing that is upon my life. I declare that God is giving you vision and will empower you to overcome the opposition. Why Wherever the opposition is, wherever the opposition is coming from, whether it is from their fam your family or wherever it is, your friends, your, your lover, whoever it is, your focus is coming back in the name of Jesus Christ. Your focus will help you to crush all the wiles of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what are the devil's devices that have been militating and fighting you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are being restored to the path of success. Yes, the path of success is sometimes a narrow path, but only a few people walk in it. But do not allow yourself to be distracted. Where you are supposed to fly high, you will fly high like an eagle. No more will you crawl in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not a chicken. You will no longer be crawling. You will fly high on the wings of an eagle, like an eagle that you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single form of opposition and destruction in the name of Jesus that has been keeping your focus from God. Today it catches fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Promotion is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How am I doing for time? I'm left with four minutes and I'm out of here. The Lord said to Abraham, look to the east, look to the west, look to the north, look to the south. As far as your eyes can see, you will possess it. I am saying the same thing to you this morning. I said, look to the north, the south, the west, and the east. As far as your eyes can see, the success and the progress that you have been be believing God for, you will see it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If your destiny has been tempered with for you not to see it, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that your destiny is being restored today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karabasonda, I declare and I decree that your life will change this morning in the mighty name of Jesus as you engage in this protocol breaking prayers this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny, original destiny is coming back to you. It is being exchanged from every altar that it has been exchanged. You are recovering your original destiny of goodness and the prosperity of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Karabasonda, you will not be conquered by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you will not be suppressed by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord. Contend with those who are contending with my destiny in the name of Jesus. Father God, contend with those who are contending with my destiny in the name of Jesus. This morning, I rise up in the mighty name of Jesus as I connect to this altar of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm recovering my destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever has been threatening the existence of your destiny, today it catches fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you have the destiny of an eagle in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you will escape the slave master in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father God, wherever they are, whoever they are, wherever they have gathered, whatever powers have gathered, whatever personalities that don't want you to prosper, this morning the Lord is thwarting them. This morning the Lord is obliterating them. This morning the Lord is annihilating them. Am I seeing that? Amen. Shout louder. Shout that amen louder. Make that amen sound well in the comment section. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that you will escape the hands of destiny exchangers. The Lord is restored storing your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ as you begin to repent for your sins right now. If you know that you have been the self-sabotager of your destiny recovery right now, I want you to tell God, sorry, Lord, I repent of my sins. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to come out of that fornication. I'm ready to come out of that adulterous relationship. I'm ready to, for, to be a prayerful Christian. I'm ready to meditate on the word. Lord, I repent of my sins. I have not been meditating on the word enough. 
I've not been prayerful. I've not been serving you. I've not been giving my tithes. I've not been giving my offerings. Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I've been slothful. I've been lazy. I've not been dealing with the enemy's wiles in my life. Lord, I repent. I repent of every single sin in the name of Jesus. Rabashonda, I repent from every known sin, every unknown sin. I repent from the sin of abortion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I receive from every sin, I, I repent from every type of sin where I've, I've even stolen people's destinies myself in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, recover me where I have made exchanges at, at, at every single form of evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for restoring my destiny this morning in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Let's begin to declare, I recover my destiny this morning. I am rebuilding my destiny this morning in the name of Jesus. We cancel every single evil transaction against your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every single transaction, every evil transaction against your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my time is up. I will recover my destiny in the name of Jesus. Any power, can we pray together as we close? One minute to go. Any power from my foundation contesting over my destiny. You die right now in the name of Jesus. Any power from my foundation contesting over my destiny. You die in the name of Jesus. Every destiny exchanger assigned to exchange my destiny catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every destiny exchanger you catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every destiny exchanger whether you come from my family whether you come from my workplace I am not your candidate in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever my destiny has been caged. Wherever your destiny has been caged. Wherever the destinies of our children has been caged. Wherever the destiny of our spouses has been caged. I command you now to be released by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, be released by fire. Be released by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever my destiny has been hidden, begin to locate me now. I command you to appear. My destiny, I command you to appear and locate me now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I recover my destiny from the hands of destiny exchangers. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree your destiny is being recovered from every hand of destiny exchanger. In the name of Jesus Christ, your destiny will be released and it will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your star of your destiny will rise and shine this morning. Somebody declare it with me. My star of destiny is arising and I'm shining from this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I wipe away every form of, of any spell that has been cast on me by a man or so-called whatever woman, whatever they were coming under. If they were destiny exchangers, Lord, we remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. My crown is being restored. My star is restored. In the name of Jesus, put your right hand on your head right now. My crown has been restored. I have recovered my destiny. In the name of Jesus, shout that amen well. Shout that amen louder. Make sure that you are tapping on that screen. Every transaction that is from Satan that has been done over my life while I was in the womb, I declare that you perish by fire, you perish by the blood of Jesus. I declare and I decree that any manipulation that they've done in your womb, in the womb of your unborn children, in your in, in your life while you are still in your mother's womb. Right now, every evil transaction, it will perish by fire in the name of Jesus. It will perish by the blood of Jesus. Anything that has been stolen from your life while you were in your mother's womb, it is being restored by the blood of Jesus this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every serpent of darkness which has sucked your virtue in the mighty name of Jesus through sexual interactions with any satanic agent. In the mighty name of Jesus, vomit yourself. My virtue will not die. In the name of Jesus, every power, every foundation in the name of Jesus that has buried my family, that has buried my destiny. I'm not your candidate anymore. I am being released from everywhere my destiny has been buried. In the mighty name of Jesus, shout that amen well. Shout that amen well. Your family will not no longer be buried. Their destiny shall no longer be buried. Ancient of days, rebuke the devourer for my sake. In the name of Jesus, Father, we raise our voices this morning. We say rebuke the devourer for our sake. In 
in the name of Jesus. Any single form of personality that the devil has replaced our lives with, may they be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I will recover my destiny this morning. I have recovered my destiny this morning. You are restored. Your destiny is restored. Any power that exchanged your destiny right now it has come to die in Jesus' mighty name. Ah, Father God, thank you. Waste the altars of the wasters. Anybody that has wasted you, tried to waste you. God, begin to waste them now in the name of Jesus. Every single altar of the waster that has been erected to waste my destiny, that has been erected to waste the destiny of my family, be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. I challenge every foundation of the enemy that it will catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single form of pillar of witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any altar supporting witchcraft against me, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we rise and we declare that every marine altar that has been challenging our foundation, it is roasted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I close, I declare and I decree that every altar of polygamy in the foundation of my family that has been attacking marriages, that has been saying I will not get married. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, enough is enough. They perish by fire in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree you will your, your settlement for, ma for marriage is come today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that every altar of lateness of marriage in your life in the name of Jesus Christ, right now you are receiving a breakthrough. Any altar that has been saying your marriage will be delayed, it has been consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, can I see somebody who's shouting that amen well? Shout that amen well. Shout that amen well. Father, every single satanic strongman using a destinies uh, uh, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, enough is enough. Uh, they are being consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Holy Spirit, we thank you for this meeting that we had today. Lord, we thank you. We have been loosed from bondages in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise and glory, God. We know that Kabod has come. No more Ikabod in our lives, oh God. Uh, our glory will no longer depart. Our destinies have been retained in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord, that you have dealt with every single destiny quencher in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single destiny quencher that has been sitting upon our destinies right now, they have caught fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We begin to take our rightful positions. We begin to sit in the seat that you have ordained for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We will no longer be blocked anywhere where we have been experiencing blockages right now we cast them into the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus every single form of demonic attack against us against our families our nations and our communities right now it catches fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we thank you Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ if you believe these prayers we've prayed in Jesus mighty name I want you to shout that amen well and say it is my time to testify it is my time to testify shout that amen well so if you are typing amen and you have just said or oh, I recovered my destiny my destiny is recovered shout that amen and type in the comment section my destiny is recovered i'm told that there are hearts there that if you want to be part of my team just join that team you just click on that heart next to my name next to that name where it says Mara official or fortune or nine pastor a fortune just make sure you just join there just become a member of this team so that you don't miss any notification in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit i thank you for every single person that has tuned in this morning holy spirit i thank you lord that they're going to have an awesome sunday they're going to have an awesome Mother's Day. They're going to have awesome services wherever they are. I pray for all the ministers that have been on this broadcast as well, all the pastors. Father God, I release them, Lord. Let them go with the power and action to show forth and show forth your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the pure and adulterated word of God be preached in churches in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That will bring a complete and final deliverance for them in Jesus' mighty name and for their, their, their members in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are charging forward. We have recovered our destinies in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you youtube and facebook make sure you follow us on youtube as well please go to the timeline of the platform that you are in and you make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you don't miss the video for this service will also be on my youtube and we'll make sure we upload it as well on apostles youtube as well 
So make sure that you are following on YouTube. If you missed any meeting uh, from the start of day one of this month, you make sure you go and listen. Download it, listen in your own time. If you don't have, we've got Wi-Fi, just download it and listen and listen and you delete and you put in another one. God bless you. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Facebook and YouTube, thank you so much. Make sure you click that like button on that subscription bell. If you want to give and you want to be a partner of the ministry, you go to the YouTube. There is a thank you um, icon. You can click on it and you determine what you want to, how you want to partner. It will give you different options as well. Um, thank you so much. God bless you. Guys, those of you who are subscribing on um TikTok, I know that uh, Apostle has got some subscribers. Please do that. Guys, please just go to that um, heart button. Be a member of my team. Um, it's free. It's free. It's free. Click on it. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Goodbye, um, YouTube and Facebook. YouTube and Facebook, there will be um, the broadcast of 11 o'clock service today. So make sure you, you, you tune in for that word. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.